Welcome back to our series of training videos devoted to the backup and recovery of G Suite. This video focuses on the backup and recovery operations of user and team drives. So let's get started. As you remember, the Acronis Backup Cloud is a natively integrated with G Suite by means of the Acronis Backup Service application available in the G Suite marketplace for your convenience. This integration allows you to perform full backup of both user and team drives. Moreover, it allows conducting full and granular recovery of user and team drives across users, teams, and Google organizations. First, we will show you step-by-step -step how to perform the full backup of both the user and team drives. Then, we will demonstrate for you how to conduct the recovery of both types of Google drives across users, team, and Google organizations. We assume that your company has two Google organizations and you've registered both organizations in the backup console. As the next step, you need to create a backup plan for a user drive. Thus, log into the backup console as the company administrator and navigate to Users and then All Users. Select a desired user in the list and press the Backup button in the right pop-up panel. In the drop-down, What to Backup, select Google Drive. Specify a name for the new backup plan. In the section, Items to Backup, you can select all items or specific files or folders to back up. In addition, you can specify some fine-grained rules to back up only specific files. Alternatively, you can specify the conditions for excluding certain files from the automatic backup operations. For instance, you might want to exclude temporary files or video or audio files. It should be noted that by default, a full backup plan includes all the files and folders created initially by the corresponding user. As an option, you can allow backing up also files shared by other users by switching the corresponding toggle. By default, the Acronis Backup Cloud will store your backups in the highly secure Acronis Cloud. Given the fact that the backup of Google Drives is a resource consuming operation, by default, the Acronis Backup Cloud performs automatic backups once a day to reduce server load. You can specify the backup retention policy, that is, how long to keep the backups on the server side. You can clean up old backups by age or number of backups. Alternatively, you can keep all the backups indefinitely. You can enable encryption and protect your backups with a sophisticated password. Finally, you can enable the so-called notarization to be able to reveal any unauthorized changes in the backup files. Please watch our separate video to get more information about this truly innovative Acronis feature. Press the Apply button to finalize the process of backup plan creation. Press the Run Now button to initiate the backup process manually. Along with the individual backup plans for specific users, you can create a group backup plan for all users belonging to the selected Google organization. In order to create a group backup plan, navigate to All Users and in the right pop-up panel, press the Group Backup button. In the drop-down list, What to Backup, select Google Drive. The process of creating a group backup plan is similar to the individual backup plan. As soon as the group backup plan is created, it is scheduled to run automatically. Let's have a look at the backup operations of team drives now. 
Along with user drives, you can create automatic backup plans for team drives. Thus, navigate to Team Drives, and then All Team Drives. Select a desired team drive, and then press the Backup button in the right pop-up panel. The process of creating a backup plan for a team drive is similar to a user drive. As soon as the backup plan is created, you can run it manually by pressing the Run Now button. You can also create a backup plan for all team drives of the selected Google organization. Thus, navigate to Team Drives and then All Team Drives and press the Group Backup button in the right pop-up panel. The process of creating a backup plan for all team drives is similar to a user drive. As soon as a backup plan is created, it is scheduled to run automatically. Let's have a look at the recovery operations of user drives now. In order to recover a user drive, navigate to All Users, select a desired user in the list, and press the Recovery button in the right pop-up panel. You can see all the available backups stored in the Acronis Data Center for the selected user. You can filter those recovery points by content, that is Gmail boxes or Google Drives. Select Google Drive. For each user drive backup, you can perform two types of recovery operations, full recovery of the entire drive and granular recovery of specific files and folders. Let's perform the full recovery. Thus, press the Recover button and select Entire Drive. First, you can recover the selected drive to the same user. Second, you can perform a cross-user recovery that is, a recovery to a different user with the same Google organization. Finally, if you have several Google organizations within your company, you can recover the selected drive to another user from a different Google organization. Along with the drive content, you can recover also sharing permissions of all files and folders by switching the corresponding toggle. Press the Start Recovery button to initiate the recovery process. You can allow overriding the content in the recovery destination if needed. The recovery progress can be tracked in the right pop-up panel or under Activities. Let's have a look at the granular recovery of user drives now. Along with the full recovery, you can perform a granular recovery of individual files or folders. The process of granular user drive recovery is similar to the full recovery. 
In order to initiate the granular recovery process, press the recovery button and select Files Folders. You can perform the granular recovery of the selected files or folders to the same user and the same or a custom location. Moreover, you can perform a cross-user and cross-organization recovery. Along with files and folders, you can recover also their sharing permissions. As an option, you can also download the desired files, if needed. Press the Start Recovery button to initiate the recovery process. You can allow overwriting the existing content in the recovery destination, if needed. The recovery progress can be traced in the right pop-up panel or under Activities. Let's have a look at the recovery operations of team drives now. In order to recover a team drive, navigate to All Team Drives, select a desired team drive in the list, and press the Recovery button in the right pop-up panel. It should be noted that the full and granular recovery operations for team drives are similar to those in user drives. In particular, you can recover the selected team drive to the same team drive. Alternatively, you can perform a recovery to another user's or a team drive within the same organization, or even a cross-organization recovery.
Finally, let's have a look at the search capabilities available within the Acronis Backup Cloud. First, you can perform a generic wildcard search for a desired user drive or team drive. Second, for each drive archive, you can perform a generic wildcard search for a desired file or folder. Well, that's it with the backup and recovery operations for user and team drives. See you in the next video.